Right then, I'm back down at my daughter's shed. I thought it was about time I gave the roof repair a once over, given all the rain we've been having recently. Let's take a closer look. So if you watch the earlier video where I outlined the repair, you remember that there was water present along this join all the way along the full width of the roof. And in fact, you can see some of the residual staining. But the good news, it's totally dry. No evidence of water coming through at all. So hopefully that means that the repair we did is still doing its job. Let's have a look up top to see what we ended up with. So the first thing you'll notice is we now haven't got two go faster stripes. We've only got one at the back and the front half of the roof is completely covered in the ever build ever krill flexible sealant. So why is it like this? Well after I posted the video I noticed that we were still getting small traces of water through in exactly the same place. So I came to the conclusion that the initial joint or row of staples more correctly was such that there was still traces of water getting through. I found it hard to believe to be quite honest, but I thought, well, we're here. Why don't we just slap on the remainder of the tin and cover the full first half of the roof? Because we certainly weren't getting any leaking beyond that point. So maybe the leak was somewhere else on the top of the roof and it was running down and causing the, the leak. Not really sure, but as I say, we had three quarters of, or half a tub of the sealant left. So I just slapped it all over and that seems to have done the job. However, just coming up now and having a look, we can see in patches where it has come off. You can see the felt covering showing through. So it just looked like the the sealant has just come off. There's another patch there. I'll have a closer look at those down in a minute when I move the ladder. So, let's have a real close up. So I say we can see that the sealant is starting to, is it going brittle or is it shrinking? Probably it's shrinking. We can see traces of the felt roof below it. Here's an example. So it's six months since I did the repair. Obviously it's still working. The question is, will we get through the winter without serious leaks? And who knows the answer to that one. So down at the other end of the shed we can see more patches where the sealant is starting to flake off. Don't know whether it's a result of uh, the odd bit of bird splat but it's certainly degrading that's probably the word I'd use. As I say we can see uh, evidence of shrinkage or drying out so the question in my mind is, when do I need to replace the roof? Or more correctly, when do I need to refelt it? Can I get through the winter? Do it in the spring? Or should I be doing it now? What do you think? Comments below the line, please. So there you go. That's a quick look at the Everbuild Everkrill Flexible Roof Repair Sealant. That's what we call it after six months still just about doing the job but evidence that it might be on its way out of course another coat would help but then we're entering the same cost envelope as just redoing the whole thing with fresh felt decision to be made right then thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like button click subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.